Okay, now it's recording. All right, so we're going to do how to deal with shoves. 98% of all attacks begins with shoves. Okay, so it's important to find an attack that fits in with your opponent and fits in with you and how to handle the shove. Let's take the first one, the wind shove, the land sow. So as he's coming to push here, land sow, pivot a little bit this way, flank to the side, and strike. Again, one, pivot, strike. Okay, that covers our land sow, the Tai Chi. The guy coming to Tai Chi, slow motion, I draw him in, roll back with him, slide forward. They have to have good timing to do that. So as he's come down the line, and the slide, and then hit the collarbone, or hit the jaw, you see at this angle, I draw in, lift up, slide, and then hit. That's the Tai Chi method. The other method is just pivoting and flanking, and it looks like this. So I was coming to push here, I call him proud, I get him to slide to my shoulder, right on this shoulder right here, I turn my body and I hit him with that elbow, with that shoulder. Again, slow motion, move out to this side, see how he slid, and I turn and I hit him with that shoulder. Okay, that's another good method. And then we did the uh, grasping sparrow. So when he pushes this way here, I turn. As I turn, and this method right here, I can crank this body forward here. I can hit here, right? I can uh, come up here, grasp it. I can punch right down as well. The important thing is I have a lot of follow-ups from here as well. So I can set my leg around him and then throw him with the hip thrust. Okay, so we try that method again, right? Turn, crank the shoulder, hit the body, grasp it right here, move straight in, tiger claw, okay, step around, hip throw, and I can punch again. Okay, so that's gonna cover uh, that particular one. All right, so we cover land sow, we have hide the flower, uh, we have um, ward off, another Tai Chi method for warding off. So as person's coming here, I have to turn and face him, kind of facing with the person, circular move, move my hands around, locking in here, hitting on the inside of the lungs, right here, or hit the face, and upward. We do it from this side, right here, slow motion. One, move over here, and strike on this side. One, come back, hit. Right in, shock the, shock the solar plexus, the ribs, right, the facial area, and then drive them away. So the most important thing on the shove, the shoves are done quick, and they're like emotive. So this is how people will shove them. Nobody's going to shove like this. It's, it's always like, like, almost like a push off, like let me just demonstrate. What's up? What's up, dude? What's up, dude? What's up? Right? So it's just done like quick. So, so, so you have to be timely. So you can't, you know, these shots are coming quick, quick like that, quick, 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 and they're done real close to you. Okay, so not, not, they're not always out like an extended hyperextension of the arm. If someone did the hyperextension on my arm this way, then this, by turning my body right here, I could easily break their arm. Just go forward with that and crank that arm. So hyperextensions, anyone that does that, that's a little easier to defend because the arm is extended. Right here, also, all I have to do is just wipe back, circle, and then come straight back, and then claw down. Okay? So that covers some of the most effective way. Now you could deal with a shove one more time by using timing and rhythm, like a pox out. So if this hand is coming right here to shove, come right here. Right from here, cutting through, and striking. So you can see my hands are here, then striking. So my hands are dealing with it like a pop, pop, here. And I can also, like I said, which is similar to uh, the flanking again, which was up, uh, and striking. That covers our shoves. We're done. <laughs>